All right, so here is my um, viewfinder that I talked about in the last little clip. And again, two L's and you can kind of change them to different sizes, so that's always interesting. Um, our artwork will probably be like a rectangle, either vertically like this or horizontally like that. And again, if you wanna do a square or something kind of interesting, like real skinny and tall, you can do that. I have that options for you, okay? Those options. All right, so if I'm gonna keep it though a rectangle for now, let's just say our standard size, I'm gonna use this to show you how we can look at our still life, okay? So um, sometimes our still life feels like there's a lot of objects to choose from, and something like this feels um, kind of like the items are floating around in there, and there's a lot of space around the side. And maybe in your layout, when you decide for your artwork, you wanna do like writing that goes along here or up in here um, in this part of the frame. But a lot of times it's not quite like that. We wanna kind of figure out our space and how we're gonna shoot, okay? So one way to do this through our viewfinder is um, to kind of look through and capture the areas of the most interest, right? So maybe I like the part where the spatulas are sticking up and then maybe I only need part of the sugar and um, the Crisco and maybe part of the um, measuring cup there, right? I don't need to have the whole thing to make it interesting. I could decide to do that, right? I can also turn this and look at it in a different way. And so that's really helpful too, to say, well, maybe I don't want all of these items. Maybe I just want the spatula and whatnot, okay? Now, you might notice too that there's a lot of different points of view that you can look at your still life from, right? I can look straight down and that's really interesting at times, right? to kind of capture. Now in this case, it might not be super interesting because you don't know what these items are. So if I'm just doing a set of the measuring cup with the measuring um, cups here, right? Then maybe I do want to do it straight down because that creates interest with these diagonals and kind of turn my camera around to really see it. I can also look straight on. That is a whole nother point of view or perspective with my still life. So if I'm using my viewfinder to kind of crop out areas that I don't necessarily need to see, right, I can choose how I'm going to look at my still life, right? And then I can take photos along the way of what that might look like so that I can choose later. And maybe now that I'm looking at this, maybe I want something down here. This is a big empty space. So maybe I will move the Domino Sugar down here or maybe the Crisco or maybe rearrange this all together, okay? So there's a lot of different ways. So first of all, it's the composition of the objects, the arrangement, and then it's how we're cropping out or filling our space or how we're deciding to view it. And then the third thing is the point of view. So straight on, right? Looking slightly down, looking over the top, turning our camera to see it from a different angle, creating some diagonals, some interest in how we're viewing our objects, right? All right.